Hey, Collider fans, it looks like Batwoman and Gotham are going to be introduced into the Arrowverse in the new season of Arrow. We're going to talk about that next. All right, Mark Riley, this is coming to us from EW, by the way, of Collider.com. Allison Keene wrote this article up detailing what happened at the upfronts. Uh, Arrow star Stephen Amell made the announcement during their upfront presentation yesterday, uh, and they said, or I'm sorry, today, and they said, we're incredibly excited to announce that we'll be doing another crossover event this fall on the CW, and we'll be introducing a new character. For the very first time appearing, we'll be fighting alongside Batwoman, which is terrific. The crossover is going to make it to air in December, I need to leave right now and start filming it. And wow. uh, CW President Mark Pedowitz added, we are adding the city of Gotham into the Arrowverse. This will be another full throttled action-packed event. So mm. we know Bruce Wayne was name-dropped last season. So in this new season now, they're really going into the Gotham. And we saw Superman already uh, in the crossover. So this idea that we're going to get Gotham, this idea that we're going to get Batwoman, does this excite you for Arrow, for the new season of Arrow? So Batwoman is Batgirl, right? No, Batwoman is not Batgirl. You, what's going on with you? Wait no. a minute. What do you so, mean? But I thought we were getting a Batgirl movie. <laughs> no, yes. We're, no, no. We're getting a Batgirl movie, okay. but Batwoman is being an arrow, and Batwoman has been around since the 50s oh. in the comics, in uh, in, uh, in uh, DC comics. She's, Barbara Gordon. No, it's, it's it's not Barbara Gordon. No, no. Uh, there's uh, two separate people that have played her before. Okay. Uh, Catherine Kane. She goes by the name Kathy or Kate, and she's, but both of them were named Catherine Kane, so, and they've done different iterations of Batwoman, but no, she was never Batgirl necessarily. Okay. Batgirl is Barbara Gordon. <laughs> Batwoman is Catherine, and she's takes her cues from Bruce Wayne because she's also a wealthy heiress and she wants to stop crime in Gotham and, and okay. do whatever. So it's it's a good thing and it's an interesting costume. And in fact, there were two animated versions of her. Vanessa Marshall voiced her in an episode of Batman the Brave of the Bull, which if you haven't seen that series, you really need to. Diedrich Bader, Bader does a great job as Batman. And also there was an actual animated film called Batman Mr. the Batwoman mm. where Kira Sedgwick uh, uh, played the voice of uh, Batwoman. So. You hear this, does this get you excited at all? Like what this version would be? Uh, I'm excited that yes, that we're getting a different version of Batgirl and at Gotham. The Batwoman. Batwoman. Yeah, there we go. Um, I, you know, I, I'm up here on the desk. I'm give, I'm poking fun at this <laughs> and the lore and everything. Uh, sadly, yeah. haven't watched a single episode of Arrow. So you, oh, okay. never, never got into the DC television right. line i'm i'm always you know a fan of the obviously the movies right. and superman however i did love it when i did watch some scenes of supergirl when superman did show up i mm -hmm. thought he was fantastic so same universe yes okay right so that uh so now we're introducing gotham i my question is why did it take so long i mean i know mm. that we had gotham over at fox and that they're making the most ridiculous, stupid prequel for Pennyworth? Come on. Well, come on. I'm not in your camp on that. I'm actually come looking on. forward to that. But I mean, I like I understand the idea that he's a, he's a, like a drill instructor sure. or something well, that no, he's been a, 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 well, he, no, Pennyworth. I'm yeah, going Pennyworth. back to, Pennyworth. I'm jumping an, all over the place. It's an because, SAS operative in the 60s in London working with Thomas Wayne, with how he gets to know Thomas Wayne. Well, Wade. that sounds fun. Yeah, I mean, that's I fine. So. I just, it just when I hear something of like, oh, well, now we're focused on Alfred, I'm like, are you running out of ideas, or well, th 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 they'll make it work? I, got I you. guess. But with this, this is a new character. This that is hasn't a new been character. Seen, like live action on screen. And what I do know about Batwoman is they did a new line where they reintrodu reintroduced the character. I want to say yes. as a lesbian. Yes, she is a Jewish lesbian. That yes. that I found very interesting when they did mm -hmm. that for the comics. You know, uh, I'm not really collecting comics like I was, but I was very interested in how it affected the comics universe yeah. and how people started talking about it. This makes sense to me. Again, haven't watched Arrow, but I like the idea that they're expanding. Mm -hmm. I bet the fans really want to see Gotham City in this yeah. universe. And yeah, I'm, I think it's exciting. I'm wondering, like, seriously, what took so long? You had, you, you were able to get Supergirl mm -hmm. over into the Arrowverse right. and with the Flash, and then you get Superman in there. And I'm like, where's Where's Batman? Well, I think you don't want to blow your wad off the bat, and you take it slow and build it out. And I think probably there's probably rights issues to be worked out sure. with with Fox and Gotham and uh, DC and, and WB and all that's involved there. So maybe they had to like do it slowly, piece by piece, and figure it out as they went along. But the fact that they're doing it lets me know that they want to keep expanding the world of Arrow. You know, I thought Flash was going to eclipse Arrow, but it seems like Arrow has really gone back 
to what made it great in its first iteration. So to add Batwoman, especially when you look at the people behind us, I think if they cast the right uh, actress, it's going to work really well. And yeah. right, you explore the storylines of her being Jewish, you explore the storylines of her being a lesbian, and also what that what she's going to be doing when she's fighting in the crossover event and yeah. what her story is going to be. And who knows, we may be getting Bruce, uh, uh, we may get Bruce Wayne at some point down the road if we're going right. to introduce Gotham. I love the idea of Gotham being in the mix now too. I think it's close. Yeah, we'll see. All right, what do you all think when you hear this news? Batwoman coming to the Arrowverse in a crossover event. Who would you like to see play her? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to Collider for more news videos just like this.